As China looks to coercively bring Taiwan back under its control, the United States would do well to remember the foreign policy mistake that was the Atchison Line and the consequences of being non-committal to our allies. Early in the Cold War, on January 12, 1950, U.S. Secretary of State Dean Acheson defined the boundaries of America's military protection in Eastern Asia. This defense perimeter came to be known as the Acheson Line and ran from Alaska to the Philippines. It included both Japan and the Philippines, but Korea and Taiwan were notably excluded. The line was meant to deter Stalin and Mao from expanding communism in the region. Instead, it announced to the communist powers exactly where America's security commitments ended and informed them where they could expand their regional footprints without fear of U.S. resistance or retaliation. The consequences were immediate and immense. Prior to 1950, the Soviet Union was reluctant to support North Korea's plan to invade South Korea for fear of U.S. involvement. Six months after Acheson's speech, the Korean War began with Stalin's support. Over the next few decades, communist forces backed by the Soviet Union and China moved into Cambodia, Laos, and Vietnam, triggering a series of civil wars that brought on the communist expansion the Acheson Line was intended to prevent. Ironically, the United States ended up supporting armed resistances in many countries that were not originally included in the Atchison Line. Even seemingly minor policy shifts like Atchison's speech can have profound and lasting impacts on geopolitical stability. His declaration was nearly 75 years ago, but its failure to include Korea left the country irreparably split in two, with those in North Korea living in poverty and oppression. Its failure to include Taiwan and recognize Taiwanese independence has led to unresolved issues we are still dealing with today. China currently seeks to reclaim Taiwan under its authoritarian rule, and the U.S. cannot afford a repeat of 1950. As a key political, economic, and military ally in East Asia, Taiwan's sovereignty is critical to regional stability and U.S. national security. To that end, America must adopt a long-term strategy that supports Taiwan and invests in its self-defense capabilities. America must project strength and maintain a committed presence to curb China's ambitions and build a lasting peace in the region.